These are the top cybersecurity projects for beginners to get hired in 2025. Okay, so this was a long awaited video. I'm so excited to do an updated version of this. We're going to be covering six new cybersecurity projects that I haven't talked about at all in this channel to get some strong hands-on technical cybersecurity projects and experience onto your resume and project portfolio so that you can get noticed by hiring managers and recruiters. Let's get started. All right, project number one on this list is how to secure Azure Active Directory. So Azure Active Directory, now also known as Microsoft Entra ID, is an identity and access management tool that does exactly what it sounds like, manage identities and access for organizations on a cloud and hybrid infrastructure. This is a core skill to get under your belt, understanding what Active Directory is, how to set it up and how to use it for any cybersecurity, IT, and even SRE or site reliability engineers to know for the job. As part of this project, you'll be creating and managing users and groups in cloud and hybrid environments and directly configuring Azure AD admin units. You'll also learn how to deploy and configure Azure AD Connect to create a hybrid identity solution. I've spoken about this in past videos, but cloud security and cloud in general is one of the future facing skills in cybersecurity that are really going to be growing in the next few years. Since typical brick and mortar data centers are kind of a thing of the past now, because most startups when they start out are not going to book a data center because it costs a lot of money. It takes a lot of time and effort to upkeep. And so nowadays, most people are on cloud infrastructure or hybrid infrastructure, which means they have some of their own servers, but they're also using servers and other resources on cloud infrastructure, typically by one of the big cloud providers like Microsoft Azure. You'll also learn how to set up Azure Active Directory, domain services, and multi-factor authentication. And not to mention that this project is hosted directly on a Coursera course. So if you already have Coursera, then this project is a really, really good one to get under your belt. And if you don't have a Coursera membership, I highly recommend getting one because they have so many cybersecurity learning resources and certifications that can really help you learn the basics, whether it's cloud security, identity access management, general cybersecurity concepts, cryptography, SIEMs, ethical hacking, etc. And of course, I have all the projects that I mentioned in this video, link in my description below. All right, project number two is going to be a fun one, and that is building your own phishing attack simulator. Most companies nowadays with a mature cybersecurity program is going to have some kind of security awareness training or phishing simulation training. And this is because one one of the biggest ways that attackers are able to hack into a system is because they've gotten some employee or some user of the system who has an account to click a phishing link, enter some sensitive information, and basically voluntarily give their data to a hacker without ever realizing until it's too late. So to combat this, companies will have typically a biannual or annual phishing simulation training, which basically will send out a fake phishing email to all the employees of a company, let's say. Sometimes this is done on a rotating basis, so not every employee will get at the same time and a little less harder for everyone to spread the word about it and it basically just becomes an ongoing training where you never really know when to expect a phishing email but basically this email is going to look like a phishing attack and if you're not familiar with phishing attacks you can look up the top five or ten ways to tell if an email is a phishing attack most likely and most phishing emails will have at least one or two of those signs and if an employee does click through the phishing link and potentially even enter some information, they'll basically fail the phishing simulation and pretty soon they'll get an email to complete some phishing training and security awareness training. Phishing is always a very popular topic for cybersecurity interviews, so I highly recommend doing this project. It's also one that I don't think a lot of people will have on their resumes, so I do think that it's a good one to get that is a bit more unique. But we're basically going to be using a tool called GoFish, and I'll link the full project guide in my description. But GoFish is an open source phishing framework that'll basically help you set up real world phishing attacks. And you can create your own phishing email template, launch scheduled email campaigns with your phishing emails to a group of users, and track the responses and the result in real time. And what you're going to do is deploy GoFish using a forked repository that is linked in the project guide, then sign up for a free account using Railway through GitHub, which will basically deploy your application for you so you don't have to do any of the backend setup besides configuring a few files. After that, you'll be following the full guide to set up your first phishing campaign, send them out to your users, and review your results. And just based on a quick stat I googled, there are 3.4 billion phishing emails sent out every single day. There is a lot of phishing going on. I'm sure you guys see it in your email inboxes, in your spam folder. And this is not something that is going to go away, especially with the current way that email and online communication is set up. I highly recommend doing this project and doing some research on phishing and social engineering attacks just to understand how this could potentially affect your future employer, your future organizations that you work for, because this is one of the most common ways that attackers and cyber criminals will weasel their way into companies and steal data, shut down systems, spy on networks, and a whole lot more. Okay, so while you're working on all these cybersecurity projects, how are you going to show them to employers in a way that actually gets their attention? And no, it is not enough to just add them onto your resume. Your resume only gets eyes on it after it goes through AI automated 
resume review bots, which means the best way to get your technical experience in front of an actual person is to host them on your own project portfolio website. And getting your website is way cheaper than you think. I recommend using Hostinger's managed WordPress hosting, which is literally less than $350 a month and an extra 10% off using my code with Sandra. Make sure to use the link in my description or at hostinger.com slash with Sandra. This is the easiest way and my favorite way to host and build a website because you get a free domain name, free SSL, and a free email account. So you have a professional sounding email. I also chose WordPress Builder over the hosting or website builder since WordPress is the most widely used website building platform out there. Setting up my project portfolio website was super simple. I created my website with their AI builder for WordPress, which meant all I had to do was choose my domain name, share a few details about my website, and their AI builder did all the work for my new cybersecurity project portfolio. Then I just went in and customized my website and this all took me less than five minutes by the way, which is crazy. So first you're going to complete at least three of the projects I mentioned in this video. I highly recommend completing all of them though because they'll add a lot of technical skills and keywords and tooling onto your resume. Second, you're going to create your own project portfolio and use hosting your AI tools to build unique content for you in seconds to showcase your technical skills to employers and recruiters. This is where I'm going to need you to show your work. And what do I mean by that? Basically, every time you learn a new skill, complete a new project, add a new search or course under your belt, you should be sharing this on LinkedIn and updating your website and showing your work to the people using LinkedIn most, recruiters, hiring managers, and just the overall cybersecurity community so you can get eyes on what you're doing. This is the best way to get noticed by employers and get recruiters coming to you rather than just sending out job applications and hearing crickets. Plus with the business plan, you get unlimited SSL, WordPress AI tools, super fast website speeds, up to five times faster performance, free CDN, and of course, 24 seven support. You can build your very own cybersecurity project portfolio website using Hostinger managed WordPress hosting for less than the cost of a coffee a month and get the first three months free and an additional 10% off using my code with Sandra. Make sure to use the link in my description or at hostinger.com slash with Sandra. Thank you to Hostinger for partnering with me on this video. And now let's cover the rest of the projects. All right, project number three on this list is working your own IT ticketing system. This means getting hands-on experience, basically going through a IT simulation training. This is a really great project to get onto your resume because one of the popular paths for people to get into cybersecurity is by first starting out in IT. So if you already have IT experience, which already covers a lot of the foundational knowledge in cybersecurity, it's another reason why there's so much overlap in these two areas and why so many IT professionals, sysadmins, system engineers, IT specialists end up pivoting into cybersecurity as a career move. So what kind of work would you be doing in an IT training simulation? This will basically be getting user generated tickets for software installations, troubleshooting hardware issues, troubleshooting access issues, common things like password resets, escalating any unresolved issues to a higher level of support, tracking your ongoing issues that may be a bit more complex to be able to close on the same day, and of course, keeping a documentation up to date, along with creating detailed reports on ticket statuses and the solutions before closing them out. This IT training was created by Course Careers, and they also have a free intro to IT course that I'll link in my description, but it's a really great way to get some hands-on experience, basically working as if you were already an IT analyst, and honestly getting any kind of simulation training onto your resume and your project portfolio makes a big difference because these simulation trainings provide a different value compared to a one-off standalone project. In a simulation training, you're basically getting a taste of what it's like actually working on the job, the kinds of tickets that you're getting, testing your communication skills, your documentation skills, and actually applying the things that you learn into real world scenarios and, and the work that you'll be doing on the job. You'll also cover operating systems, VPNs, DNS, and basically get the rundown from IT basics all the way to getting that hands-on IT and cyber experience. All right, project number four is building your own host-based intrusion detection system. An IDS is a network security tool that monitors network traffic and devices for any suspicious activity, potential threats, or policy violations, and alerts your system admins when it does detect any malicious behavior or potential anomalies. Now, this project guide was created by Hackersploit using a tool called OSEC, which is an open source host based IDS that performs log analysis, integrity checking, rootkit detection, alerting, and active response. This is an especially great project for those of you who are interested in the blue team or becoming an SOC analyst because you're likely going to be using tools like an IDS or an IPS to detect and prevent cyber attacks on an organization's network. This is another one I think will be really unique on your project portfolio and your resume because how many beginners in IT and cybersecurity go into an interview telling the hiring manager or the interviewer that they've created their own host-based intrusion detection system? 
Most people aren't going that far in terms of getting that hands-on experience, especially since most of this project is done on the command line. So if you're someone who is looking for a command line based project and are also looking to get more familiar with command line tooling and how to navigate and interact with tools directly without the GUI, which can be pretty common with a lot of different Linux tools, then this is definitely the project for you. All right, project number five on this list is your first ethical hack slash pen test. This full project course covers pen testing, threat hunting, and cryptography. So you get the whole gamut of all the foundations you need to become an ethical hacker or a red teamer if you're interested. And you'll be using tools like the OWASZ attack proxy, sneak, and how to use penetration testing tools in the attack phase of a pen test. You'll also get hands-on experience threat hunting and threat intelligence. Another way I recommend doing this is by using tools like Try Hack Me and Hack the Box, which have a lot of different CTF style rooms, or you can do hacks in their own spun up environments to get more hands-on experience. I'll also link the free Try Hack Me Beginner's Guide to Becoming an Ethical Hacker linked in my description as well. All right, last but not least, number six, oh, number six on this list is cybersecurity job simulations. There is a website called Forage and they basically have cyber job simulations from companies like PwC, MasterCard, Datacom, and each of them cover different aspects of cyber that you'll actually do on the job to get an idea of what it's like being a security analyst, a red teamer, someone who is actually managing a phishing campaign, for example. And it's another great way to get experience and not to mention that these job simulations are completely free. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to check out Hostinger's managed WordPress hosting and get three months free and get an extra 10% off using my code with Sandra at hostinger.com slash with Sandra or linked in my description below. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Don't forget to stay connected on LinkedIn, Discord, Instagram, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.